what's up guys today we're back with another video and guys in today's video i'm going to go pick up my two baby red tail catfish so guys i love red tail catfish they are my favorite fish since i was about nine years old guys and i know how big they get i had one before he was about that big but he didn't make it past that size sadly i had him in a 10 gallon tank with about uh a whole hand size of a uh, bunch of water in it and I had some bubbles in it. Well, just bubbles from the filter. But guys, it ended up getting too hot outside and it wasn't enough bubbles in his aquarium. So he passed away. It got like so hot. It was like 129 degrees outside. So his water was just so hot. So that's why I added some modifications. I have a bigger tank now. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. And I'm just gonna show you guys the setup. I'm gonna put them in and then go pick them up alrighty guys as you can see it is about to rain it's already kind of drizzling but we're going to be putting him either in the 55 well actually no we are going to be putting him in the 55 gallon aquarium it is green because it is outside but i can swear to you yesterday it was crystal clear clean as clear crystal clear as can be and now it's like this so my filtration i have plants all over here down in there just to help with filtering like little small particles in the nitrites nice and turn them into like good bacteria you can see he's really far really really far so i'm gonna actually have to trim them or take these plants out really soon but yeah guys so this is my aquarium that we're gonna be hosed housing the two little baby red tail catfish. They're gonna be about an inch and a half, two inches. Um, we're basically gonna put them in here and with my Oscar. I don't have a name for my Oscar yet, guys. I think he is right in there. Try to see him. But that's the little cave I built them. I built them a little cave, put a little bit of PVC right there. And I have another cave right there, but the water is so murky, you can't even see it. But yeah, guys, so. That's pretty much it. I added some shade up there so the water doesn't get as hot. And I'm going to go pick up my new baby red tail catfish. And I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so we are here at the pet store. And I'm about to pick up my two baby red tail catfish. All righty, guys, so we are finally home with our new baby red tail catfish. These are my dream fish, you guys. So. It's just so lucky for me to have these guys. You can see both of them. I'm gonna name one, I'm gonna name this one right here. He's gonna speed up guys. So we're gonna name the bigger one, Kirby. I don't have a name for the smaller one, but we're gonna name him soon. He, the small one's gonna go in a different container because I do not want him to get bullied by the other fish and him because he kind of has his food ripped apart right now. So yeah, we're basically gonna put him inside and let that bigger one just stay in here with my other Oscar. And yeah, guys, we can let them acclimate and I'll get right back to you guys. Alrighty, guys, so it is about, about 30, 20 to 30 minutes. And we're gonna put a new little red tail catfish, Kirby, in his new 55 gallon aquarium with my uh, albino tiger Oscar, guys. I'm just gonna do this with one hand. I'm the best I can. Hope you need it. Uh, I got it. These filters are so off. I'm actually gonna turn this one off. So, you gotta let that water drain out. But, you got Kirby, our big red soap catfish. Not even that big right now. Um, you gotta make sure your hands is wet. See, my hands is wet. And, them up. You can pick them up into your uh, hand if it's wet. It's really the only way. But this bag is too long. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna try to put a Kirby right here. Let's actually do this in the grass. Uh, or what was it, the water out? And so yeah, guys, he's about an inch or two. There we go. Come on, Kirby. Look at him, what? Uh, he's swarming. He's in my hand now. 
Look at that, guys. Look at that. This is so sick, guys. My new baby rental cap is in his new enclosure. There he goes, guys. Right underneath there. So, his little brother is actually acclimating right now to his new aquarium. This is him. We're gonna name him Krill. This is Krill right here. He is way smaller than him, and I'm pretty sure my Oscar can eat that one if I was to put him in here. He's about an inch, inch and a half. So we're just gonna let him grow a little bit more. So we'll give him about two weeks. They grow like an inch every week. So we'll give him two weeks and then he'll obviously join them. So this is a big tank and it gets really, really warm. And this one gets a little bit cooler. So I have a little pond feeder right right over here. And we're just gonna basically gonna add it right behind the filter. Because these guys can get burn marks as well. So sit right there and we're gonna plug it up. So yeah, we're gonna plug it up right into there. And now we'll heat up the water for our new little red tail. These are my favorite fish guys. These are literally like my dream fish. I had one before and he sadly passed away because I had him in two gallon, it got too hot. And when I came back, it was just too late. He was gone, but we have some new baby red cells. And we're actually gonna put this whole thing over here. So this thing never gets too hot. It would just stay warm, the temperature outside. But yeah, guys, this is so cool. I actually should have fed my, red, my uh, Oscar before I put him in. So I'm gonna feed him my Oscar real quick so we can make sure there's no issues, but I have to go inside and eat the food. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I don't think my uh, my Oscar is gonna even mess with him because my Oscar is like a mid swimmer. He's not gonna be on the top and surface all day, and he's not gonna be at the bottom. He's just gonna be in the middle of the tank swimming around and in that little cave. That's his cave right there. I'm not sure. Maybe when the red tail gets bigger, they might fight, and my red tail might take that one over and push the Oscar out. But that is it right now, guys. I gotta go feed my Oscar. I'm gonna get the food, and I'm gonna fill this up, this thing up with a little bit of that water. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. And I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, guys, so that is today's video. I hope you guys absolutely enjoyed today's video. I know you guys did, because this is a banger. But we are gonna still continue to post every single day, guys from these little tiny baby catfish for about this big until they get here from our chest where they're three feet long and they're just gonna be so big and be monsters. I have them with so many different other fish. But that is the future, kind of like the near future. It's gonna be like three years until they get that big, guys. We're gonna be getting a pool pond for these guys and all sorts of things. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notification, guys, so you can see these new baby red cells grow up to be humongous monsters guys i'm never getting rid of these guys they are my favorite fish these guys are my dream fish ever since i was like nine years old i used to watch catch them all and raw fishing he used to have all these little baby red tail catfish and i used to be like man i want one of those when i get older and now my dream finally came true and i got me some new baby red tail catfish so yeah guys shout out to my brother for taking me to go get these guys and uh, don't forget to turn on those post notifications, like this video, share it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.